Good afternoon guys, this is Cody with Underground Metal Detecting. We got good luck so far, starting at a park I haven't hit in about a year. I got a strong signal, and that was because there was a quarter camouflage, but right on the surface. Let's see what else we can find at the park with the new Mine Lab Manticore. I'll try to show you guys here with the least amount of glare as possible. So you got nothing on the screen. Solid 88, 89, with that nice round circle near the end to the right of the screen. That's telling me there's a quarter there. Right under the coil. Let's dig her up and I'll show you. Our first actual dig, a couple of inches, sorry, in the ground. I was getting an 88. Gives us another quarter, not ancient, 1994, but we love finding these. Our next signal, not too far from there, a 27 on the Manticore gives us a 1995 Jefferson Nickel. I like it because you can pretty much see on the, uh, let me show you guys here. Hopefully I can get that within view of the camera. But if I swipe it over, you see that nice dot right in the center. Well, it went away already. But you get your 27, you get your dot right on that center line, not in the darker shaded areas, which is more iron. But it makes finding coins a lot easier than it was with the Equinox 800. And I considered that my favorite machine until I got the Manticore. And then a 58 to 62 gives us a penny. Rather cruddy, but it's a memorial. 19 something on it. Another one for the pile. Bit of a hot spot here. This one is a 1984. I was hoping for 64 and silver, but we're getting older. This is, of course, right behind a public pool, probably an area that people hang out, but they're dropping their coins, so I'm here to find them. And she was a little bit off to the side, but there it is. Extra dirty. But it looks like a newer one, the newer Washington. Maybe 2023. But it's another quarter. So the machine tells me what's in the ground before I dig it. And here we go. Our first non-coin target. Thought I might have had a nickel here, only about an inch or two in the ground. But this is definitely a charm. Probably off of a bracelet. I don't see any markings on it, so it's probably costume jewelry. But I'll take it. And a solid 78. Gives us our first dime. Looks like about a 2014. So that gives us the cycle. A penny, a nickel, a dime and a quarter. But we just got started. Let's go find some more. Another quarter for the pile. This one is a 1977 Eagleback. Getting older with the coins. This is a 1961 Memorial Penny. About six inches in the ground. Our Second piece of jewelry. It appears to be an owl. I'm guessing you'd have some type of chain or rope type necklace or bracelet go through there. She was coming up a 34, but a solid signal. Always happy to dig something like that. Another interesting find. At first I thought this might have been part of a plastic like a chess piece, but then I started to recognize this is a quick connect nozzle 
for a power washer. Yep, soap, nozzle, low pressure. Probably something they used cleaning the grounds out here, but now it's mine. And right next to the sidewalk, we have our first lawnmower victim coin. This was a dime, probably not too old. Looks like maybe 1967, but she is quite bent up. I'll add her to the pile at home we have of lawnmower victim coins. And right next door to that one, I thought we might have had another quarter, but it was a little bit higher signal. Turns out to be what appears to be part of a old watch. Maybe. It's got the size and everything right. I don't think it was too anything important. And I don't have a signal from any of the other parts, so probably just scrap, but interesting find nonetheless. We'll go here for a mystery high signal, giving me an 82 to 84. Right there. Could be a dime. Could be who knows what. We can definitely find it. Not very deep in the ground, so I don't gotta unearth too much. Still in there. Somewhere. I thought that would have been a little easier to dig. Give me a minute, I'll bring you guys back when I find it. And there, we got it out. I get pieces of scrap, I'm assuming aluminum. Two of them cut out of here. I don't know if that was part of maybe the roof on the building, but I don't see anything else where that would match to. Oh, these are actually tags. Let's see if we can read. What she says, perhaps a bit of a brush. I see a whole bunch of random numbers. Does that say a thousand watts? Something electrical? Perhaps, but you also never want to be too careless in the holes because there's a bunch of random large glass and small glass in this pile here. So just be careful when you're digging. This one will be a mystery. Appears to be a regular rock. But then it's also not ringing up on the detector that I just swept it by. Let's see if we still have a signal hiding in there. Get my shovel put away. You can see right in front of my boot is the little plug I popped. So it isn't quite the signal I wanted, so I'm gonna do some more digging. We got two things out of there, one being part of some kind of rod or nail, definitely iron and sticks to a magnet, but we did find one penny. She appears to be a 1977 memorial. Usually around these little uh, picnic covered areas, you find a lot of the scrap you'd expect to find. Pull tabs, um, ketchup packets, just junk that people toss and get crushed in there. But I'm on pretty much a giant coin spill. This appears to be a 1964 Jefferson nickel. It'd be great if it was a dime or quarter, and then we'd have silver. 
but basically every 12 inches or so I'm getting a solid coin signal and digging them up. They're only a couple inches in the ground, so we'll definitely make a lap around this thing and see what else we can find. Let's just show you how easy that is. Here's where I just dug that nickel. Solid dime signal. It's probably not even that far in the ground because it's right there. And she's not a dime, she is a copper penny. 1975. It seems anytime you have a quarter, which is normally like a 88 to 92, she'll spike higher around a 94, 95 if there's another coin near it. Like this is a newer shield penny, but just enough to mess up the signal, but I knew there was a quarter there. And another place I love to hunt in any kind of park is when you find these asphalt paved basketball or tennis courts because you notice the asphalt's a little bit higher than the ground so anything that falls there is going to roll off and somewhere in here right there i'm getting a quarter signal about a foot away not very deep and she was just below the grass, maybe half an inch in, but I popped her right out with the little hand digger. This will be, what's that say, Patsy Tokomoto Mink. Equal opportunity in education. So this will be one of those uh, famous women quarters but another one for the pile. Slightly higher than the normal 27 for a nickel. Gave me a nickel and what looks like what's left over of a chopped off bolt. So that explains the higher signal. Like I was saying, I was maybe 10 feet that way. I rounded the corner and I have another one to two arrows down quarter signal. So let's try to live dig this one. Pinpointer should tell me exactly where it is. Should be right below the surface. Right there. And you always sweep around, see if you have anything else in there. I believe this will just be the one quarter. This one is going to be a 2012 state quarter. Denali, Alaska, E Pluribus Unum indeed. And of course, since the basketball courts have stuff fallen, of course you gotta check by the bleachers. Our first hole down here, I got two more pennies. We'll do a quick test here, since we're trying to figure out what is a pull tab and what is a nickel. Two down, round. This one definitely was a nickel. So I'm thinking 27 is a good nickel signal, 30 will be your pull tabs on the manticore. And almost where you wouldn't want to dig. You see bleachers, you see a garbage can, you see where the pinpointer is pointing to. That just found me about two inches in the ground, a 1946 wheat penny. Nice. And again, proper quarter signal, just a little bit too big. Thanks a lot, Hyde. I thought the signal was a little too big to be a quarter. It's our worst enemy. These are the old disposable vapes that ring up just like a quarter. At least we're getting it out of the park. And here's another one. She was giving me a solid 91. Looks like there's a worm trapped inside of this one. But I'm pretty sure it's the same 
type of device as the last one I dug up. At least we got three going into the garbage from this park so far. And just five feet down the edge of the sidewalk, we have another quarter. Looks like a 1993 Eagleback. Now I'm just tagging signals on the way back to the truck as we're losing daylight. But I had a 79 quarter and an unknown year dime stuck right together inside of this hole. Here we go for probably the last signal here. I'm not even sure what this goes to. It kind of looks like something that would be in plumbing. But very shiny and very loud, so I had to dig it up right next to the sidewalk. Probably invaluable and probably disgusting, but it's mine now. All right, that'll be enough for today before we're completely out of daylight. Again, for the wrap-up, we do have a tiny butterfly and a tiny owl found in the wood chips. I have, I don't even know how many I stopped counting. Tons of quarters, tons of nickels, tons of dimes, tons of pennies. We'll get all those guys cleaned up. I know there's at least one wheat scent, but there's a couple that are hard to read.